All my fellas. All my fellas. All, all my fellas. All my fellas. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Lakeside Viking News. It's Friday, November 3rd, 2023. I'm Gia. And I'm Sienna. And here are your weekly announcements. The Lakeside Cross Country Varsity Boys team narrowly defeated Dunwoody High School by 10 points, securing a coveted spot at the November 4th GHSA 6A State Meet. The girls team finished strong with the 6th place finish. Way to go runners! Join our Honey Baked Ham fundraiser just in time for the holidays. Buy Honey Baked gift cards online and 20% goes to the Lakeside Soccer Program. Honey Baked gift cards have no fees and never expire. Use them online or at any store nationwide. Buy them here. It is time to order your cap and gown. Cap and gowns are purchased directly from our vendor, Herf Jones, and will be delivered to students here at school at the end of April. Use the link below to purchase. If you have a cap and gown from a previous year, you may use them if they are from the year 2021 onward. If you have a cap and gown from a previous year, you may use them if they are from the year 2021 forward, but you will need to purchase a stole and tassel. The cost of these items is $40 plus tax and includes your diploma cover as well. You will have to call Herf Jones directly to place this order. 770-921-9022. Go online now to place a pre-order for your holiday poinsettias through November 9th. Proceeds help support the music programs, fun purchases of music, instruments, equipment, guest conductors, and visitors, enter competitions, and so much more. So please support our band, orchestra, and chorus students by selecting their name at checkout to make sure they get credit for the sale. There are prizes up for grabs to those that sell the most and that sell early. Go to this website here. Lakeside Theater is presenting two one-act shows, Ride the Cyclone and She Kills Monsters. Tickets are available here. Ride the Cyclone represented Lakeside at the Georgia Theater Conference in Columbus, and She Kills Monsters competed in a GHSA region competition. Now they'll come home to perform for just three nights. We have a new club at Lakeside, the Guitar Club. Just bring your guitar to school, store it in the teacher's classroom for the day, grab it at 315, and come to room 1204, Dr. Spire's room, from 315 to 415. Come jam, strum, hang out. It's every first and third Thursday of the month. Ivy Math is providing all Lakeside families with free online tutoring session and in-depth parent conference to discuss your child's strengths and weaknesses and how they compare to grade level. The Ivy Math tutoring session, parent conference, and learning plan are free for all Lakeside families. Popular times fill up, so please register quickly. Sign up here. Calling all Lakeside artists. The 2023 Reflections call for entries is now open. Use the QR code to learn more. All entries are due November 5th, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Send your entries and any questions to this email here. Categories include dance, film production, photography, music composition, literature, visual arts, and special artists. Note, the entry form must be included in your submission and must include both the student and parent signatures. Please send us your announcements. And now to Drew and Sarah with the sports report. Hello and welcome to Lakeside Sports. I'm Sarah. And I'm Drew. And here are your announcements. On November 11th, the wrestling team has a tournament in Paulding County. The Lakeside football team is 4-5 and five after their loss against Druid Hills. They play again tonight at 7.30 against Clarkson. Hi, I'm here with... Coach Bassett. And uh, so far, uh, basketball team is just now starting off. Uh, what's your first impression of the team? Uh, we're really young. There's a lot of... Uh, first year players on all three levels and um, and the guys are excited so it looks to be a, a excited season. Okay cool. Um, your first few games are coming up. How do you expect those to go? Uh, optimistic. I think we'll be competitive um, but it depends on uh, really how the guys perform. Um, so I, I'm, I'm expecting us to perform well um, and if the guys come out and play the way they're capable of we should be in good shape. Right. Is there any specific player that has shown uh, a lot of promise from either this year to last year or coming from uh, just coming up as a freshman? Uh, from a, coming up as a freshman, I think um, Sam Shapiro, um, Muhammad, uh, those two played varsity last year and they're uh, expected to contribute. We had some 
uh, players returning, uh, Amari and new player, um, Mr. Tillman. So we, we have some new pieces and some um, players returning, so we should, we should be in good shape. All right, thank you so much. Hi, I'm here with Coach Morton of Lakeside Girls Basketball. Uh, what's your first impression as a team uh, before game starts? Well, there we have a good combination of young players and some um, upperclassmen. So this this team that they work hard, they have a lot of energy, they love each other. So I think it's going to be a pretty fun season. Is there any specific player uh, that has caught your attention, uh, either as uh, an upperclassman or somebody coming from like freshman year? Oh yeah, so my upperclassmen, Sybil Thomas. Um, Claire Van Horn, Laney Jackson, Mia Burns, they're all, they're, they're consistent. They do what they're supposed to do. They're, they're going to be awesome as usual. Um, for my lower class, my freshmen that come in, they are going to be awesome. We have um, Gabriella Benjamin, um, Sarah, um, oh, Mackenzie, all of them, they, they work really, really hard. And so we're, we're pretty excited about them. Uh, how do your first few games uh, look for you? Well, we start out with Crystal Ray. Um, we, we've, we've beaten Crystal Ray in the past, but hopefully, you know, hopefully we can continue that streak. We'll see what happens. And then we move into Lithonia. They're a real scrappy group, so we get to test ourselves to see how scrappy we are against them. Um, and then I think we go um, away to Heritage. And Heritage, that'll be a tough game, so we'll get to see exactly what we're made of. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. This is Lakeside Sports. Tune in next week. What is up, everybody? Today, in a special extra edition, um, double-sided review, I'm going to be reviewing Jujutsu Kaisen, which is a 2018 action horror manga shonen jump thing by Gege Akutami, who I hate. I was originally going to slam my fist on the table, but my lawyers told me not to slam my fist on the table. Basically, Jujutsu Kaisen, full just brief plot rundown. It takes place in the normal world in like 2018, but the thing is, there's a malevolent energy called cursed energy that stems from people's negative emotions and feelings and their fears and whatnot. And cursed energy creates cursed spirits, which are carnivorous, destructive, harmful beings. And the only people who can fight those beings are called Jujutsu sorcerers. Some Jujutsu sorcerers are not good people, um, which is, you know, Go figure, people with incredible powers tend to abuse them and not be good people. Right? You know, it's wild to think about, right? But, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the characters still are very charismatic. You're very drawn to them. Even a lot of the, you know, antagonists like Mahito or Kenjaku, who are completely deplorable, disgusting people, like, you're still entertained. You still feel enthused to see them on screen. The, the protagonist, especially Yuji Tadori, he's a teen kid. Um, He's very cheerful and uplifting to the people around him. Um, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't like it immediately. It wasn't like it just latched onto me immediately. Like, I, you know, it took me some time to, you know, to really appreciate its value. If I had to give it a star rating, the, the manga, I would say, is probably a 4.5. The first season, like, uh... A 3.5, I'm going to give the second season a 4 because I feel like the second season really turns up. One critique that I will give is that Gege, the author who I told y'all I hate, and I'm not going to explain why because that would be spoiling, but if you know, you know. He gets, like, a lot of his, like, writing when it comes to the technical stuff of, like, cursed energy and the fights and whatnot. He's so verbose about it. There will be entire chapters that I don't want to read simply because it's just walls of exposition just piled on top of each other and it gets so monotonous it's just like bro I'm bored can we speed this along can we do something interesting but you know those those moments don't happen too often for them to be distracting and for them to take away from the value of the story it, overall I think it's a pretty impressive series um, I've grown to really appreciate it it's become you know really close to me definitely recommend that y'all check it out Thank you so much for tuning in. 
uh, to me and William's double-sided, double-layered Halloween spooky review. Um, so yeah, we finna call it quits here, but I'll definitely see y'all again sometime later in the future. So yeah, that's about it here. Thank y'all for tuning in to Lakeside News and I'll see y'all next time. Hi, I'm Colin Fell, Vice President of the Tabletop Steam Club. Are you bored on Mondays and Wednesdays? Have you ever wanted to kill God with the power of friendship in a game of Dungeons and Dragons? Well, guess what? We do that here. Roll the dice. Yeah, I don't really care what you guys got, actually. Um, rocks fall, your characters die. You often make new characters now. Have fun with that. Or maybe you wanted to throw 20 billion goblins at your best friend in a game of Magic the Gathering. I can have Krinko. Uh, I bring in a million goblins. Do you have any blockers? No. Yeah, you lose. You're, 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 just, you're just bad. You lose. You, like, you, just, you can't block all of them. You lose. Oh, your health's gone. What do you do? Nothing. Or maybe you want to spend a ludicrous amount of money on Warhammer 40k. Literal plastic that cost me my soul. Please help me. I haven't eaten in a week. What? Okay, I guess I'll just open it. Oh. Um, I, uh, I, uh, uh... Now, we also do play more normal games, like Uno. You can even bring your own from home. Now, if you'll excuse me, <clears throat> draw four, draw two, blue, reverse, red, draw two, draw two. If you're interested in joining the club, you can meet us after school on Mondays until 4.30, or after school on Wednesdays until 5.30 for D&D in Miss Radijak's room in 1411. We are definitely not a cult of mind flayer parasites, so um, I recommend you join, it's a lot of fun. That is all for the news this week. Thank you for watching. Make sure to tune in every Friday.